Hello everyone, it's Natalie coming at you live and today I'm at the creative pop-up here in Vascus Rocks and this is where a lot of movies are shot and everything so it's going to be a great day. I don't know how many plein air painters are going to show up. It is a plein air painting. What plein air painting is is where you just show up, you set up your easel and you paint whatever's in front of you, your object. So we're going to do some interviews and meet some other creatives. So it's going to be a good day. My name is Annie Brink. Um, I live in Acton, California, and I'm 55 years old. I'm an artist. I paint with oil and watercolor. I'm starting to do some plein air. How long have you been making art seriously? Well, I've been trying to make a living at being an artist for about three years now. But before that, I worked at NBC Studios in the art department for 24 years. Made a living at that, pretty good living at that. What work do you enjoy the most? Um, I enjoy painting landscapes in my studio. Um, I like to listen to rock and roll music and and paint all day and dance around my studio. <laughs> That's a good day for me. Um, is this a hobby or do you make a living as an artist? Well, it's mostly a hobby. I try to sell some work once in a while. Um, that's That makes it all better, but basically a hobby. Okay, so that kind of answers the question, do you sell your work? Um, I'm combining them for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so do you agree with the stereotype that being an artist means you're broke? If I had to make a living at being an artist, I would definitely be broke. I'm really lucky that uh, my husband has a good job and, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to work. <laughs> what art do you identify with? Oh, that's a tough one because uh, I, I I love um, a couple of artists, uh, contemporary artists, and um, I can't think of their names right now. It's all right. So, <laughs> so like abstract. I like, oil. I like impressionism and um, and realism, and I I kind of try to do a little of both in my artwork so I bring a little of of each of that awesome and your social media accounts uh, I have an Instagram account it's at Annie be good it's a n n i e b e e e good and uh, a Facebook account is um, Annie B art studio awesome with just the B sounds good So what are you doing right now? I'm just doing a little sketch of trying to, to block in my uh, what I want to paint. <laughs> I didn't know you're filming it. Uh, and trying to get my darks so I know where the darks and lights are. It, there's no shadow, so it's going to be pretty easy to figure that out. What colors do you tone your canvas with? Well, I usually tone it with a like a an, like a yellow or an, or a, an ochre, but I'm doing an experiment today with this really bright orangey kind of red. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I was expecting the sun to come out and the and the mountains to have kind of an orange glow. So it was going to work off that, but no sun yet. <laughs> You're laughing at me. An orange. Cat orange. Because I like orange. There's no other reason. A warm blue and a cool blue. That's interesting. I've never seen anyone use like warm, cool colors like. And a white, and that's all I use. Wow. Oh, so you I use your. Purple. I put purple out too. So you use your primaries, but you have a cool and a, and a warm, of and each. then white. And white, yeah. Wow. And That's very is, interesting. Phthalo is my cool. Is my yeah. There's my warm. This is my cool. So I'm going cool, warm, um, cool, warm, cool, warm. It has little slots in here. This one doesn't fit, but for a nine by twelve, it fits right in there. And then there's a couple of different sizes by tens, or I got a variety. You can carry your paint and your brushes, brushes here, paint here, and it locks up in there. 
and you, so you don't need to bring all this other extra stuff. Um, when I was painting a lot of plein air, I did that. And then I just put everything else in a backpack, you know, so I didn't have to bring the big box of paints. Do you bring snacks with you? I do have some snacks. What do you carry with you? I have a granola bar and I have an apple on the way. But I brought, uh, and I brought some waters. What do you plan on painting today? Um, I'm going to paint the Vasquez rocks today. Look at that. Big, beautiful rocks. Very famous. So why do you uh, paint with, um, what is that, magenta? Or is that blue? It's a blue. Um, I'm it, just using some, something a little darker to, um, you know, to get my idea of what I'm going to paint. And it's pretty thin, so I'll be able to go back and go over it. But you want to always get your darks in first. Oh, you always put your darks in first? Yeah. Hey, Wendy. Exactly. I seen what you did there. It was turning green on you and you added red. See that? Did you see that, Nathan? What she did? Actually, no. Because red kills green. Because they're complementary colors. So I'm going to get painting. I'm going to paint these mountains right here, this ridge. I just love distant mountains. Um, so we're gonna do that. I know you can't really see it that great on camera. I'm gonna try Look at that. It's so beautiful This mountain here. This is the colors. I'll be using today. I'll be mainly using these four brushes I'll be working very big and bold um, Which is not you, you, my normal style. Uh, I'm gonna be very loose and Try to finish the painting within an hour or 40 minutes so right now, I'm about to just um, get my basic shapes in, get a rough sketch. To make a nice dark, I use um, sap green and alizarin crimson, and it makes a nice warm dark color. Yeah, because she doesn't yeah, like she doesn't use black. black. That's why. Right. So I don't. So it's a more mature dark. And then if you want to get it a cooler dark, <laughs> I like that more mature. I really like that tone on your canvas. Yeah, it's like beautiful keep contrast. It, keep it uh, beautiful, popping. Yeah. Yeah, cause it's look, look hot. at your painting, and then look at that mountain. It's like dull. Yeah. <laughs> I like to put a lot of color in my. Yeah. But beautiful. Well, you you're really taking it, uh, advantage of um, your complementary colors of orange and blue. Beautiful. Certain colors, you know, it's just. I really like orange. Yeah. What colors did you use for your sky there? Uh, some phthalo blue and white, and put a little orange in there. Why do you put orange in your sky? 
Uh, well, it just, it's a complimentary color, so it knocks it down a little. It's not as blue, you know. It kinda... You know, this is how you accomplish the effects you do. It doesn't have to be right or wrong. All right, so we're gonna climb that mountain that she's painting. <laughs> we made it at the top. <sighs> That's beautiful. That's th this is I don't think Annie's. It's beautiful, but thank you. This is Annie's uh, finished work. Look at that. So beautiful, vibrant. I I gave Annie a challenge where she has 40 minutes to complete a new painting. Oh, I thought she was about to leave. No, nope, good. Cause there. I'm just getting into some details over here. All right. All right. Let's see it, Nathan. Okay. You want to see mine? Sure. Prepare, pre be prepared to get your socks blown off. Odd. Let's see me. <laughs> okay. Get with the outline. We got a little bit of sky. We're getting some darks into the details. Okay. All right. The Bible says, "Never despise the days of small beginnings." Get your canvas like a certain color first. She toned her canvas. Toned it. Give it a certain color. Pre-toned. So, alright everybody, Annie told me she's gonna give me her piece for uh next month. We're switching, we're trading. We're trading. We're trading next month. I like your impressionistic, like, the way you approach painting. How long have you been making art seriously in your field? Well, ever since I discovered painting, I was completely dedicated and serious, which has been almost about four years, and I think it was actually July. Yeah, July. All right, four years. What work do you enjoy the most? Acrylic. I like acrylic paint because um, I can just layer really quick and I really learned how to manipulate the paint um, with acrylic. Alright. Is this a hobby or do you make a living, a living as an artist? Uh, well right now I'm trying to currently uh, have been making, trying to make a living off it. Um, but I haven't been able to get there but I'm building right now. I've been consistently trying to build my business for a year now. And what's your business? Natalie Paints. Natalie Paints. Awesome. All right. What's Natalie Paints do? Uh, I do paintings for people. I could do murals for businesses, companies. If you just want to, you know, uh, murals in your children's bedroom. And I teach private painting lessons. If you want to have a party, paint party, more serious or just for fun. All right. Sounds awesome.
<laughs> uh, do you sell your work? I do sell my originals. I sell anything I paint. I can sell it. All right, for the right price. For the right price. Okay. It's millions of dollars. I don't know if anyone will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you agree with the stereotype that being an artist means you're broke? Uh, it depends on all your mindset. I think it's just, it, it is a stereotype, that's what it is. But it doesn't have to be true for everyone. Um, there's plenty of people that I know make a living off art. You just have to do it the right way. Some artists are just lazy or they just don't know their resources. But I'm pursuing that and I'm positive that I'll make it. Amen. All right. What art do you... As a living, as an artist. Amen. So it's just a stereotype. It's just, I don't agree with it. No. You don't agree with it. Amen. Because you could sell one painting. Make millions of dollars. Five hundred million dollars. What art do you identify with? I like realism. I like landscape paintings. Something that has a story behind it too. Okay, so what is your social media accounts or websites? All my social media platforms, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram are all under Natalie Paints and I'm working on my website right now. Well, I'm not. Nathaniel is. <laughs> it's almost up and running. And it's going to be at www.natalypaints. Right? Yes, natalypaints.com. Natalie Paints. Stay tuned. You can buy prints. You can, you can buy prints. You could book me um, for murals, paintings, painting buy, classes. Buy tickets. Attend to my. Yeah. You want to do this here or here? No, no. Come here, Natalie Paints. Go ahead. Come here, Natalie Paints. <laughs> Natalie Paints, come here. Okay. <laughs> Tell them what. Okay, on NataliePaints.com, <laughs> you can see Natalie's mural work. She won um, 2019 Muralist of the Year from AV Art World. Uh, you get a commission done. You get a commission done. You can buy, you can buy case, tickets. You can buy prints. You can get a t shirt. Look at this hat right here. We don't sell hats, but you can get a t-shirt with Natalie Paints on it. Alright, you right. done. Right, what else? What else? Alright, Natalie Paints. YouTube videos. <laughs> you gotta go. Alright, you done? Yeah. You done? Yeah. Alright, that is it for my painting for today. Um, we're gonna wrap it up. And Andy's doing a second painting. She's brave. So, let's go check out what she's doing. So, this is Annie's second piece. Alright, we're cleaning up. Thanks, Annie, for painting with me and coming. Thanks for coming. If it wasn't for you guys, I've been painting by myself. Commercial, your intro video, huh?